It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks from all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Adventure Island. Starting off at number 10 we have Adventureville and whether you want to head on a nice fun family ride or get a soundtrack stuck in your head for the rest of your day then this is a must do. Throughout all of my life visiting theme parks I don't think I've ever seen a ride like this at a seaside park because from the moment you set off on your train you will be singing and dancing alongside many adorable bears and scenes. But the best part is still not yet though, as spoilers alert, the second lap is a disco, which means that you'll be partying your way along and I don't think I need to explain how cool that would be. Just watch out though for the jump at the beginning. Get yourself ready as coming in at number 9 we have the most spooktacular ride at the park, over the hill to Spookfill. Now basically this is Adventureville turned dark, with instead of you heading round a nice happy village full of cute bears, you will head down and up around a haunted house full of many spine tingling ghostly encounters. Do not worry though as these monsters may look weird on the outside, but inside they are all really friendly, therefore even for the little ones they can enjoy this spooky ride. It is time for our first roller coaster on the list as for our number 8 spot Barnstormer will take you on a flight like no other. Before we even get started on the ride itself I have to point out the car vehicle as with it having a pilot on the front and a dog on the back it really makes it feel like you are flying around a farm. It is not only that however which makes it at number 8 as with its helix, lift hill and many fun turns during its two laps, it is so much fun and either for a first roller coaster or just another credit, Barnstormer is the ride for you. At number 7 on our top 10 list we have Mighty Mini Mega and despite the name sounding a bit confusing, I absolutely love this coaster. Being located on the top of a building, already this is not your normal credit. But as soon as you have boarded and left the station for the first time, you will notice when climbing up that lift hill the view, which is amazing, of the ocean as well as the longest pier in the world. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. This is then followed by some drops, head choppers and some really awesome airtime hills causing even the biggest thrill seekers to have a mighty mini mega scream. Talking about screams it brings us perfectly to our number 6 position, Green Scream. Now I am not going to talk about the record on this ride because due to me trying to keep it still a family friendly channel I would rather talk about why it is my favourite family ride at the park. Firstly, this is the longest train that you will have ever seen, with a total of 20 cars on the track, so I think you don't need to worry about it having a big queue. As far as the ride goes, you will experience some pretty basic turns and drops if you are sitting at the front. The back on the other hand, well that's a different story, just hold on tight as you will be pulled over the lift hill and have a 10 times more snappy ride. Did you see what I did there? Top 5 were, were and coming in for this spot we have the new for 2022, The Screecher. To be totally honest with you, I have got no clue where to start on this attraction, apart from saying it is not for a faint of hearted. If you think you have what it takes, jump aboard and brace yourself, as in a nutshell you will spin on a disc and then this disc is connected to an arm which will raise up and down and then believe it or not this is connected to a central hub which will spin around too. So yeah, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that this ride is intense, enjoyable and a great addition for the year. In at number 4 we have Dragon's Claw 
and scrap everything you think you might know about a gyro swing ride as this raw awesome attraction brings it to the next level. Now I am not 100% sure that this is clarified as a gyro swing, but with it using the same gondolas I think it is the closest thing that I can think of. Nevertheless on here you do not fly in the air and instead you spin up down and sideways and well and literally every possible angle you can imagine on this attraction. One aspect I particularly love about Dragon's Claw though is that the time that you spend upside down because there's honestly no other experience in the world where you can stay upside down for this length of time. Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park and taking the number 3 position we have Time Machine which after riding you would wish you can go back in time. If you think the last two rides would make you feel dizzy then, brace yourself as this you would physically need a sick bag to make it through the duration of the ride. The best way to describe what happens is basically you sit on a two person car and then this will spin around at a speed of 70 km an hour. But it does not stop there as it also can spin making you face upwards, left and right all while spinning around. All of this will either make you fall in love with the ride like myself, never ride again or just run away from first sight. The question is though, what would you do? Between number 2 and number 1 it was tough, however after a lot of thought we decided to put Axis at number 2. Before we start, if you are scared of heights, then skip to number 1, because not only do you rise over 100 feet in the air, but while you are up there, you will also be upside down. However, we will talk about that later on, as that is not the only part of the ride which makes it so great. Unlike Dragon's Claw, this is like your normal gyroswing attraction, with you spinning and swinging into the air, and even if it stopped halfway up, it would still be near the top of the list. Adventure Island brings it to the next level though, as you will go the full way round, not only providing some amazing views from the wrong way round, but also having some moments which you will never, ever forget. We have made it to the number one spot, and for the best ride at the park, we have no other than Rage. Now let's just take a minute to remember that this is a seaside park and therefore to have a Gerstlauer Eurofighter like this is just plain down fantastic. From the moment that the let me tell you very friendly staff dispatch your train you will instantly know that you are in for a treat. And you would not be wrong as elements on this ride include a vertical lift hill, a 97 degree drop, a loop, overbank turn, heartline roll as well as a helix, but that is just facts. The ride experience itself feels even better though, so if that does not make you want to ride, I don't know what will and therefore Rage is currently our favourite ride at the park. That is it from our top 10 video today, obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, at the top we have two videos that we know you would love. And at the bottom there is our Patreon as well as subscribe button. But with all that said, there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coaston and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.